We had all hoped that this next story would turn out differently. A young humpback whale that had beached, had beached along Turnigan Arm has died. Channel 2's Derek Minnemeyer is live tonight, close to where the whale was found this morning. Mike, Rebecca, the unfortunate death of this juvenile humpback whale did not come as a surprise to scientists who were studying its body earlier today. That's because it was stranded on two separate occasions, once on Sunday and again yesterday here on Turnigan Arm. Now, according to NOAA, they have to perform the necropsy on the animal's body. That's what they're doing here. This is before the tide came and covered it up. They collect tissue samples and send them to the lab for specific species identification. I've been told there are three subspecies of humpback, and they won't know until they get the results back which this one is. Now, we spoke with a veterinarian in charge of this process earlier today. She gave us a sample of what they were doing. And now we're trying to collect a few biological samples. Uh, we got some fluid and the actual eyeball itself because that's um, an encased piece of tissue that we might be able to check for evidence of diseases or toxins. Now the tide has come and covered up the whale. It would be right there behind my left shoulder here. We have gotten some questions about subsistence harvesting of the animal's flesh. Now they did cut off most of its flesh today in order to get to the organs to be able to determine how the animal died. But if people do want to harvest what's left, they will have to get permission, express permission from NOAA. For now, Mike Rebecca, back to you. Before the tide brought sad news, fishermen along Turnigan Arm recalled the whale's struggle from the day before. Yeah, we saw it yesterday, and I think this, the whale survived because it was stuck down on a... You see it today at all? No, not today, but you yesterday. Hope, do you hope it got out? I hope so. Lost, alone, exhausted. I'd love to see it prevail and get back out in that ocean. Watch your footing. I don't think I got anything bloody in there. That's good. <laughs> Researchers are still determining how this young humpback died in Turnigan Arm Tuesday morning. No, there was no obvious evidence of injury to this animal. Um, no broken bones, no bleeding wounds. Dr. Pam Tuomi from the Alaska Sea Life Center worked Tuesday afternoon with a team of volunteers cutting away the blubber. It's not unusual for it to take two or three days. There's, there's a lot of tissue to look at. Racing against the tide removing the blubber layer to keep the animal's internal organs cool overnight. When we come tomorrow to finish our necropsy, we'll have, you know, better organs and they'll be less rotted. They still don't know the sex of the whale, so their hopes as they wait out the night. The whale will roll so that we will have access to the underside and we can actually sex the whale. As the high tide comes up to cover the whale's body, science crews will continue the necropsy Wednesday afternoon, once the tide has gone back down. Derek Minnemeyer, Channel 2 News.